Well, hello guys, and welcome back to another adventure from the Riotech Corporation. I'm Commander Corley, and today we're going to take a look at battle number three of our PvP series. It's going to be me against Nox here. We're going to jump right on in and see what the battle looks like. All right, it was a domination battle on the bottleneck map. It's a really good battle. Go ahead and get, uh, get past this part here. Go ahead and get some infantry out. Point time is over. We'll send them directly after that flag. Go ahead and pop that scouting as well. So I can find as many containers as I can on my way through. One already. Of course I've got some infantry going south as well. Nothing new at the base. Another container down at the south end. I got my assaults moving out. All right, go ahead and drop in that uh, assault vehicle factory. Got a couple more containers. Let's just speed it up a little bit here. Of course, I've got all my guys going towards that flag at the moment. Popping out some fortresses. Creating the. So I can pop out some hammers. Now I've taken over the flag. Got my guys sitting there. Didn't even bother scouting his base. Didn't need to. Domination type, one flag, got to get that flag as fast as possible. Popping up some more uh, supply centers. Another resource container. Just got this area a little bit. Right. Go ahead and upgrade the barracks. I'm up to I believe it was level two HQ at this point. And I got a rifleman coming in to scout my base at this point in time. I had no defenses, nobody in the base. They were all at the flag. Go ahead and working on another fortress. And some more infantry. At this point, I did not see this guy disappear. And there he goes. Never saw that until now. Alright, HQ is up to level 2. We got three supply centers and two power stations. At this point, just waiting for the infantry. Watching that ticker tick up. Putting in another construction yard there. Alright, we got zoomed in here. 
There we go. Just sending them down to this bottom corner just to see if there's a resource container down there, just in case. But turns out there was nothing. We're about a third of the way, no, well, I'd say about a quarter of the way there. I haven't quite made it to the third yet. On that flag. Still got it started pretty well, though. <laughs> he hasn't come in and tried to take it. Got one scout over here. Thought about scouting his base. Don't think I did. I think I went up a little bit further. And these guys over to the crossroads. I've got an aviation factory going up now. For y'all that have watched, you know I like my vertexes. Got a hammer coming out, a couple heavy assault. About seven minutes into the battle now. Uh, he needs to enemy there. And promptly dies. <laughs> Couple coyotes to display. Couple hammers coming out. Heavy assaults that I'm already sending up that way. This heavy assault just he, he dies. Big deal. This one finishes him off. Then we've got this battle going on down here. Destroyed the coyote. You got another one coming out. That's, he's gonna walk away. So I decided to go ahead and send that fortress and those three assaults up to the flag. Popped an advanced supply there. Got my cyclone in the air. Salts to pop out. Watching these guys go up. Seems that they did get attacked because my three assaults are gone. They were here. At this point, now I'm sending Cyclone out into the water. See if there's any resources out there. And sending the two hammers over to the flag. and get the shipyard up just in case. So we'll go ahead and speed things up a little bit while watching the flag. Since there's nothing going on at the moment. Doing a little bit of scouting with the cyclone at the moment. No battles or anything going on. Decided I was going to send the cyclone down here. Let's get out that side. While the hammers go north to the flag. And I got my other assaults headed over as well. I've got my entire force, except for those two. Get that 
three. Find a resource container there. Some more my salts from the flag over to grab it real quick. At this point, I'm just focusing on scouting and defense of this flag. I didn't even care if they came to my base and attacked. At, the, at this point, I was just trying to defend that flag. So at this point, I've got four supply and four power. I got some more heavy assaults, more assaults, a couple more hammers coming out. Still no battle going on. So I'm just scouting with my cyclone. Ah, and here they come for the first battle. Trying to take that flag from me. How quickly they came and how quickly they disappeared. Oh, as I go back across the top here, scouting up north, decide I'll go all the way to the corner and then I'll go straight south. Scout his base real quick before I win the battle. Got a couple assaults down here guarding the south end with a couple hammers. Just in case at this point. And of course I've got my assault, some heavy assaults up here patrolling. So here I go south with the cyclone here, because I'm curious to see what he's got base wise at this point. I'm like, wait a second, let me hold off just a second longer. Because at this point I'm trying to get vertexes. Not paying attention to the the flag capture. Like I'm gonna get some vertex. And he sends up another group at this point to try and take the, the flag. This one was a closer one because he had the sniper group with him, but he still didn't make it. I had too many there. At this point, I'm just like, okay, I got just a couple more seconds left before that timer ticks away. I'm going to just run over there real quick and see what's going on. But he never makes it over to the base, and that's the end of the battle. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this battle as much as I did. It was a very quick battle. Um, my opinion he should have sent all of those guys all at once instead of two separate uh, attacks that way he could have won but it's all right but I hope y'all enjoyed it this is commander Corley signing off
Hey guys, I want to uh, go ahead and throw this out there. Uh, I want to appreciate you for watching my videos, and at the same time, I want to get the word out for uh, Swifty Saloon, my buddy. Uh, he started up his own uh, business, and he's making these wonderful looking figures and uh, wonderful looking blocks for Dungeons and Dragons, I believe. Um, many different creatures, many different out of ground top areas. You got your dice. Um, all kinds of little odds and ends. You need to check him out. Swifty Saloon on Facebook. And uh, hit him up and tell him that I sent you there. He might even throw you a discount. Again, thanks for watching. And as always, this is Jonathan with the Riotic Corporation. Until next time.